Don't be afraid. Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Coffee, the only source you need for the latest Star Wars news, leaks, official clips, trailers, behind the scenes, TV spots, and more. Everything. Standard Jedi Mission Protocol. While you're here, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that bell notification so that you're always notified the second a new Star Wars video goes live. I want more. But with that out of the way, let's get into a galaxy far, far away and talk about today's video. Come on, one. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at Ian McDiarmid talking about Palpatine's return in The Rise of Skywalker and why he doesn't think it was a ridiculous move. So obviously Empire has done this whole spread on the 25th anniversary of the prequel trilogy and with that being the case, Ian McDiarmid has been interviewed for that and was obviously going to be asked about The Rise of Skywalker and his character's return in that film. He said, quote, the thing that I'm most pleased about, and you know, this only came to a head when they asked me to come back for The Rise of Skywalker, is that every single evil act in all of Star Wars franchise is either directly or indirectly down to that character. That is total evil, and that's strangely satisfying as a character arc. I do feel fortunate to have been able to do it, and other villains of cinema now have to compete with that. A lot of people said it was ridiculous. This is when he's now talking about his return in The Rise of Skywalker. He continues, A lot of people thought it was ridiculous. Of course, he was dead at the end of Return of the Jedi. And frankly, I think George thought he'd killed him too. I have died before. But JJ thought it would be a good idea. I wasn't going to argue with him. I felt that Palpatine would have always had a plan B. Probably a plan C, D, E, and F as well. Nothing will stop the return of the Sith! And he was an expert in cloning, so... Finally, Empire asked him about the Ray Palpatine and whether or not he had to... You know, to, to, to get that to happen. He says, please don't pursue that line too vigorously. But yes, he did. He did. He did have it. It's a horrible idea to think of Palpatine having it in any shape or form. But then, of course, perhaps he didn't. Maybe it's all to do with the midichlorians, and don't ask me what those are. The dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be... unnatural. Never trust your granddaughter. That's the t-shirt Palpatine got made. Shortly after his death, the Palpatine family reunion is sure to be an awkward one. So it's pretty interesting to see Ian McDiarmid address that, and of course, in his very very interesting thespian-like way to say that but you know it did happen uh, I'd probably say it's probably something to do with more midichlorians than anything of something you know we'll have to see maybe Filoni can work that out for us like he did with the Clone Wars providing all of that extra lore and content to make things fit a little better so hopefully maybe one day we'll get that but regardless Ian McDiarmid certainly does seem to have a point with whether or not Palpatine was actually dead, whether or not that is a clone, or whether or not, you know, it is Palpatine damaged, etc. It does make sense with how well Palpatine was able to manipulate and maneuver everything that he likely did have a plan B, C, D, E, and F. So that makes a lot of sense, especially if you watch it with that in mind now. If you watch everything content-wise in order, it's very clear to see how much of a mastermind he really is. So it's not really all that shocking that the series end the same way it started with Palpatine as the Big Bad. Definitely an interesting turn based on the first two films of that trilogy, but it does fit thematically. All right, let me know what you guys think about Ian McDiarmid's comments in the comment section down below. Remember, may God bless you and may the Force be with you always. Is it over already? Oh man! If you enjoyed this episode, and frankly, even if you didn't, don't forget to subscribe. Do it! And if you want to help spread the word, please give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends to subscribe. Please check out the official Star Wars Coffee merchandise, and don't forget to check out all of the content playlists on this channel, including The Rise of Skywalker, The Mandalorian, and much more.